grown man blogs, something they gotta deal with. So no matter how many of them fabricated blogs they make up, it ain't gonna equal up to this real shh. You already know what it is, etc., etc. Don't let none of this get too far ahead of you. I am home. I've been gone for a couple of days. My guy Showtime SP will be back in the building tonight. We will be recapping the battles that you have asked about. But let me get this started. Dearly beloved, sincerely departed. Gotta get it started. T-Rex versus Tay Rock. It's starting to heat up. It is starting to heat up. The battle is supposed to be going down. These guys are still going back and forth. I spoke to Stiz, the owner of Battle Academy. Um, we spoke a couple days ago. He let me know, you know, they got they have things in place. The microphones will be right. The situation will be right. And this battle is starting to take shape. It's getting ugly. It's getting uglier and uglier as we speak between Tay Rock and between T-Rex. T-Rex put out a message today. Um, where he got straight to it. He got straight to what he means and what he's saying. Um, the gangster stuff you shouldn't try here. Cause on the real, niggas could die here. Cause them hammers was on deck when them plane tickets was bought and we ain't fly here. Um, T-Rex is talking tough. I don't know if this extra tough talk that I'm gonna snuff you, that I'm gonna set it on you, that I will knock you out is a scare tactic or is to take away from the actual bars in the battle because you know is it a creativity thing I don't know and I know you know I'm reporting on this because it is news it is talk worthy it is what people are talking about online right now Tay Rock did respond to all of T-Rex's messages and you know I, I, I want to see the battle go down and I don't want there to be no fights I would not promote I want to see fights I want to see drama I want to see a fight as in a good battle of course, but I don't want to see a situation where people are on stage, venues are getting ruined, battle rap is getting a bad name, dark land murder life ish. We don't want to. We don't want to see that. I know I don't. I don't pay to see that kind of stuff, and I definitely would like to see it go down and go down safely. So what are you saying, Vado? What are you saying? What did T Rex say? Well, this is what he said. It's an announcement, real nigga announcement, man. I'm T Rex when I'm battling. In the street, I'm the big A high. Rock, stop fucking playing with me with this suck your dick shit because I'm going to knock you the fuck out. I'm not one of them niggas going to argue with you on stage. I'm going to crack you. You 14 pounds soaking wet, motherfucker. Stop playing for I ring your little bitch ass out. You a homo anyway, nigga. I suck my dick shit is for that tranny nigga you was dealing with. Yo, stairs. if you don't want me to fuck this nigga up, tell him to stop playing with me because I'm a gangster. I ain't no rap nigga, nigga. And I ain't running on stage. And I ain't leaving my man in none of them niggas. Fuck is wrong with you. He playing with me, nigga. And I'm going to beat dog shit down your leg, nigga. Got my AI. You know what's up. Basically, saying that Rock with inviting people to the Frank stand. See, the thing is... When you for a lot where I'm from, I'm from the Bronx, right? 233 White Plains to be exact. We, a lot of people they don't play that. That Frank Stan, that suck my we don't they don't play that's like some of the most disrespectful stuff that you can say to someone, right? So T-Rex is like, if he says this to me, I'm swinging on him. I'm gonna pop on him. It's gonna be drama. Rock is saying he's gonna say whatever he wants. Uh Tay Rock said in his tweet, nigga told me not to say it in a battle. Nigga, I can say what I want in a battle. You sound dumb as shit. I'ma say it after every haymaker. You got me fucked up, nigga. Basically saying, I'm gonna say whatever I want. You got me fucked up. But T-Rex just guaranteed him that if you tell him to suck my, I'm going to swing on you. It's so disrespectful. Well, like I said, it is one of the most disrespectful things that you can say to somebody, inviting them to the Frank stand. And Tay Rock has been known to say this to people time and time and time again. Like he says it to either, he'll say it to fans on Twitter. He'll say he said it to Shadi Hart. He always says this. And I don't know, I don't know what, what era we're in where this has gotten comfortable as a thing to say to people because I know for a fact a lot of niggas don't play that. Live, live niggas definitely do not play you telling somebody to suck my dick. Like that literally causes a fight. I just seen a video the other day online that a dude told another dude that on the bus and it popped. 
popped off. Like. Bro, say what? It pop. It goes down. Those are words that are literally fighting words. Am I bugging? Y'all y'all got your comment section. Y'all got y'all availability to say how y'all feel about it. Um Tay Rock also said Rex just made this something else. Him, me and him can fight one on one and the battle can still get done. We can fight one on one and the battle not get done. I don't care. I know we can fight whenever though. All this instant talking shit is gay. If you don't like me, let's just fight. You know? And then he also said, I want smoke too. I hope his hands work. This is too much talk for me. And finally, Rock said, he could never look me in my eye and say anything without me swinging on him, period. You know? Um, Rock has also mentioned that he knows he can't mess with me with the bar, so he want to fight. He said, I'll beat the shit out of him. Um, Stiz, like I said, Battle Academy has other, had other events before. We have had a couple other events. Most of the events have went successful. You had Bill Collective versus T-Rex not too long ago. That battle went successful. This is a very critical time for you. And the reason why I mention this is because if you get this battle done, if I told you this, you get this battle done successfully and you drop it and they have a classic, you have a couple million views on your hands, but it also puts your platform at a higher perspective. After URL, after um, the RBEs maybe, and um, King of the Dots, you guys are doing very good work this year. You guys are doing very good work. But if this battle goes left and it's a black eye, trust and believe me, the same way that people put you up there is the same way they will come get you. We will come get you. Me and Showtime will come get you. And, and, and tear that shit and we will wild out if this shit goes left. So you, Stiz from Battle Academy has spoken on the situation and he said, this will be the only time I'm gonna speak on this. Tay Rock and Rex will go down and there will be no issues. Philly is my city and I repeat, nothing will happen in my city, especially at the event. This is battle rap, that's it, Stiz. Now Stiz gets a lot of love and a lot of respect in Philly, I will say that. Homicide Stiz, if you don't know him, look him up. He's done music in the past. He's got a let, he's, he's, his name rings bells in Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not like um, one of these little rinky dink battle league owners who gets ran off on, whose events don't go the way they're supposed to go, who's just clout chasing by booking uh, the big, the most popular name or New Jersey twerk every week and shit. He's not that. He gets a lot of respect, a lot of love, a lot of admiration in his city. His city stands behind him, his city represents him very well. They not gonna go for you guys up there fighting or, 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 or throwing an event. Tay Rock, T-Rex, they will not stand for losing money behind y'all fighting. I, I just want, I hope y'all know that. I really hope y'all know that. These ain't no, this, <laughs> them, niggas is, them niggas is gangsters too, by the way. You know, y'all know how Philly give it up. Don't come to Philly thinking y'all just gonna get into a fight on camera People, a bunch of people lose money, and that's just gonna be the end of it. I just, I, just let you guys know. I know T Rex got the way he feel about it, about the whole SMD thing. I don't even like saying it. Like I don't even like saying it. Inviting people to the Frank Stan Chrome man. Ah, I'm not from. We're not from that. Um, from that era where that's even cool. Or that makes. Or that. Or that was even a thing to do. Like it just doesn't. It's not. It should not be happening. It really shouldn't be. But nobody's gonna tell Tay Rock what to do because he's gonna do whatever he feel like it. But I know Rex is gonna use. He sounds like the type of person that's gonna use a lot of what happened in the uh, Murderland Dark Life scenario against Rock. Um, he already said, "I'm not the type that's gonna be running off on my man, my man. I'm not running off. I'm not leaving nobody." So it, sh it, it it has the makings to be a very energetic, entertaining battle where these two could have a good clash and hopefully everything turns out for the best. But what I'm saying is, what it's looking like is these two don't like each other. Now they talking crazy. 
T-Rex is making videos. He's saying that we, I will snuff you right there on the spot. I will ring you out. I have seen battle rap events go left for way less than the issue. That's the mitigating circumstances that I'm talking about. We have seen fights and battle rap happen for way less than what these two got going on. Way less. Am I bugging? Way less. We have not. We've seen. We've seen shit get ugly. We've seen shit get shaken for way less than the problems that these two have. And they got some serious, serious problems. And I just hope. And it don't usually just be the battle rapper. The entourage just be talking, the heckling back and forth amongst each other. And then once that SMD, that invitation to the Frank stand comes, man, who knows what that could be. They might want to put a pool table between them like uh, back in the um, fight club days. Oh, six days! Six days out. I think it's not a fight table with the with the, and it can't be no pool balls on the table because he might pick one up and throw it. <laughs> Man, hopefully everything goes the way it's supposed to do. Stairs from Battle Academy has said that everything's gonna go the way it's supposed to go, and ain't nothing gonna happen in the city. But AI, he said, he said they called me AI in the streets. Is it AI like Allen Iverson? Which AI are we talking about? Rex, what AI are oh, we talking about? Are you talking about Bubba Chuck? That's what they get. He said they call him AI in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Rex said that's what they call me. They call me AI in the streets. Um, whatever that means is what that means. I'm going to be quite honest with y'all. I um, Personally, the best thing I ever did in the streets and in the hood was leave. I left the streets pfft, maybe 15 years ago, 20 years ago. I left the streets a very long time ago and I have no no plans on if going back or bringing my kids back to the streets like any kids that are around me that I could prevent that I have or that I'm raising to be in the streets like it's just <laughs> no 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 I got no reason to be there I'm sorry y'all y'all can have the streets the, the, no I like I love where I live I love what I drive I love what I do that's just not me so um AI is in the streets is what he's saying he's saying he's in the streets Watch how you, watch who you talking to, Rock. And Rock is gonna say whatever he wants, man. Like, but he said he's gonna say it after every haymaker. If Rock is gonna say something after every haymaker that Rex said he's gonna pop off for, Stiz, y'all better have something in the contract. Y'all fight, y'all don't get y'all second half. So, y'all gotta have something out there, some kind of stipulation. Cause I tell you what, I'm copying the pay per view, and I'm gonna cop the pay per view for a couple of. My subscribers, my 40,000, my gang, Rice Gang. I'm going to cop the pay-per-view for about two, three of them, right? Everybody, I, I think we said everybody who's purchased merchandise is automatically in the raffle. And then we're going to give away two, maybe two pay-per-views. I ain't rich. Um, and if they fight and I've paid to see this times two or three, then I got an issue. You know what I'm saying? Because now we just wasted money. And I'm not into wasting money. I fuck with Battle Academy the long way, but yeah, I gotta treat y'all the same way I would treat any other league. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I'm, I feel like we're getting successful at what we do. Cause I don't pledge allegiance to no league. It doesn't matter. I don't care what league it is. I don't care what card it is. It could be URL. It could be Queen of the Ring. It could be King of the Die. It could be anybody. If shit don't go right, I'm on that camera. Wow. I don't care. I don't pledge allegiance to nobody, and that's what kind of people kind of like and they gravitate towards too, because they feel like if you pledge allegiance to a league, you really can't say too much negative about them. I remember when I was, you know, cooler with certain people, I would say something, and then they'd be in my inbox, then they'd be on my phone. Yo, you can't, yo, why you say this? Vada, why you say that? We let you do this, we gave you that. Nah, fuck all that. Fuck all that. You ain't give me shit. I don't want nothing. I buy everybody's events because when I got to talk shit, I'm going to talk shit. I call it like I call it because I don't want to spoil it. You niggas already know what time it is. Rock, Rex, get that shit done without no motherfucking fights. Me and my nigga Showtime SP will be back tonight.